What is a man with an EU test and how is it calculated? That's what we will discuss in this video. Let's start with the first question. What is a man with an EU test? A man with an EU test tests whether there is a difference between two independent samples. An example. Is there a difference between the reaction time of women and men? But the t-test for independent samples does the same. It also tests whether there is a difference between two independent samples. That's right, the man with the u-test is the non-parametric counterpart to the t-test for independent samples. But there is an important difference between the two tests. The t-test for independent samples tests whether there is a mean difference. For both samples, the mean value is calculated and it is tested whether these mean values differ significantly. The man with the U test, on the other hand, checks whether there is a rank sum difference. How do we calculate the rank sum? For this purpose, we sort all persons from the smallest to the largest value. This person has the smallest value, so gets rank 1. This person has the second smallest value, so gets rank 2. And this person has the third smallest value, and so on and so forth. Now we have assigned a rank to each person. Then we can simply add up the ranks of the first group and the second group. In the first group we get a rank of 42, and in the second group a rank of 36. Now we can investigate whether there is a significant difference between these rank sums. But more on that later. The advantage of taking the rank sums rather than the difference in means is that the data need not to be normally distributed. So in contrast to the t-test, the data in the man with new test do not have to be normally distributed. What are the hypotheses of the man with new test? The null hypothesis is, in the two samples, the rank sums do not differ significantly. The alternative hypothesis is, in the two samples, the rank sums do differ significantly. Now let's go through everything with an example. First we calculate the example with data tab, and then we see if we can get the same results by hand. If you like, you can load the sample data set to follow the example. You can find the link in the video description. We simply click on datatab.net and open the statistics calculator. I've already loaded the data from the link here. You can also copy your own data into this table. Then all you have to do is click on the hypothesis test tab and then simply select the desired variables. We measure the reaction time of a group of men and women and want to know if there is a difference in reaction time. So we click on response time and gender. We don't want to calculate a t-test for independent samples, but a man with an EU test. So let's just click on non-parametric test. Here we see the results of the man with an EU test. If you're not sure how to interpret the results, just click on summary in words. For the given data, a man with an EU test showed that the difference between female and male with respect to the dependent variable response time was not statistically significant. Thus, the null hypothesis is not rejected. So we now calculate the man with an EU test by hand. For this, we have plotted the values in a table. On one side we have gender with female and male and on the other side the values for reaction time. Unfortunately, the data is not normally distributed, so we cannot use a t-test and we calculate the man with new u-test instead. First, we assign a rank to each value. We pick the smallest value, which is 33, which gets the rank 1. The second smallest value is 34, which gets the rank 2. The third smallest value is 35, which gets the rank 3. Now we do the same for all other values. So now we have all ranks assigned and we can just add up all the ranks from women and all the ranks from men. The rank sum is abbreviated with T and we get T1 for female with 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10 plus 5, which is 37. 
Now we do the same for male. Here we get 11 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8, which is 29. Again, our null hypothesis is that both rank sums are equal. Now we want to calculate the p-value for this. We have once calculated the rank sum for the female participants and we have the number of cases of 6, therefore we have 6 female subjects. We can now calculate the u1, that is the u for the female participants using this formula. Here we have n1 and n2, that is the number of cases of female and male, minus the rank sum of the female participants. If we insert our values, we get a u1 of 14. We now do exactly the same for the male participants and we get a u2 of 16. So now we have calculated u1 and u2. The u for the man with the u test is now given by the smaller value of the two. So in our case we take the minimum of 14 and 16, this is of course 14. Next we need to calculate the expected value of u, which we get by n1 times n2 divided by 2. In our case it is 6 times 5 divided by 2 and that is equal to 15. Last but not least we need the standard error of u. The standard error can be calculated with this formula and in our case it is equal to 5.4772. With all these values we can now calculate z. The z value results with u minus mu u divided by the standard error. In our case we get 14 minus 15 divided by 5.4772 which is equal to minus 0 0.1825. So now we have the set value and with the set value we can calculate the p-value. However, it should be noted, depending on how large the sample is, the p-value for the man with the u-test is calculated in different ways. For up to 25 cases, the exact values are used which can be read from a table. For large samples, the normal distribution of the u-value can be used as an approximation. In our example, we would actually use the exact values, nevertheless we assume a normal distribution. For this, we can simply go to data tab and calculate the p-value for a given set value. The p-value of 0.855 is significantly greater than the significance level of 0.05 and thus the null hypothesis cannot be rejected based on the sample. How to calculate the man with new test on tied ranks, you can learn in our tutorial on datatap.net. You find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.